Today we're going to take a look at colors and color consistency inside of your dashboard. So here I have a customer support dashboard, a sample dashboard, and we're going to start by clicking on the edit button there. Once in edit mode, you'll see that there's a, a dashboard settings button up in the top left hand corner. Click on that and you'll see that there are now two ways that you can adjust your colors, either by data label or by display order. Currently it's in display order and you can see that if I hover over solved, it's pink. The pink one down here is pending. You can see over here solved and pending are different colors altogether. If I go to data label, it looks at the dashboard holistically and we can see that solved is dark green and it's dark green throughout all of the metrics. So you may have different reasons to choose one or the other. Each of them have benefits, but I'm going to show you another way to set your colors as well. And that's by using custom colors. So I'm going to add a whole bunch of different labels by just clicking the plus button here. And then it's really actually quite straightforward. There's a autocomplete and simply start typing the names and whatever labels are on screen and present in your metrics, we're going to pick those up. So let's complete this and then we'll go back and we will adjust the colors for each of these labels. Okay, you can see now that I can quite easily adjust uh, the colors. We're going to go for a color scheme where closed, hold and solved are a gray color scheme. And then the ones that are active, the pending ones, the open ones, and especially the new ones, we're going to make those more active colors, sort of greens for the pending and open, and then new to draw attention to it, uh, I'm going to pick an orange. Colors are an important way to communicate and to group elements on side in your dashboard. You can either align it to your brand colors, or you can put meaning behind things as well. I'll give you one other little tip and trick. Uh, one thing that might not be apparent right from the start is that you may have a label that isn't appearing on your metrics. So for example, if we were to have urgent show up as one of the ways that you could segment or present your data, we could actually put that inside the color selection as a label. And then when an urgent ticket comes in, it'll show up as that bright purple. There you have it. Let's save that dashboard. Now colors are set for all of your viewers to look at and to better understand what is actually happening inside of your metrics and on your dashboard. Thanks for listening. As always, let us know if you have any questions.